Yeet. That was beautiful. All right, guys, what's going on? We're back at it in the green and purple Waffel garage place thing. We're back at the S2000. If you haven't seen her in a little while, we got some new wheels and new tires, and we're gonna be doing something a little bit special for Halloween today as well. Uh, we have a uh, Boston Mountain Tour coming up here in a couple of weeks, starting at the beginning of November, so we're making sure to kind of get the S2000 all ready for that. Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> You'll also notice that's not a hard top, that's a soft top. She is no longer hard, and neither am I. Uh, what we are going to be doing is I'm going with a completely different style of hard top. I literally just sold that hard top last night, so I'm back to the soft top for now. It'll probably be that way for about a month or so. It'll definitely be that way at DMT. But once the new soft top comes in or a new hard top comes in, it'll be looking really, really fresh. We also got a new bumper, maybe new fenders coming in. But if you come here, come here, come here, closer, 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 too close, too close. Look that way. Look at that. See that? That? Yeah. That. That's some fresh rubber, y'all. Let's get to it. Hold First, on. I got to arrange my wheels. So this should be one of the ones on the right. This should be one of the ones on the left. They're gonna look so good. Now that I got my two sides organized. I can already hear the keyboard warriors typing in the comments below. Why am I on mismatched wheels? I had a red one up front, a stock one in the back. The reason being, the one in the back started getting, get this real quick, started cracking right here in the spoke. And I only noticed it when Sean and I were out one day doing a shoot with the S2000s. And I thought I had a lot of brake dust on that wheel. And I went to go wipe it down and I saw the, the fracture that was in the spoke and it was actually metal uh, dust that was forming from that fracture just rubbing up against each other. So I immediately got home, pulled that wheel off. I have no idea what it's from. I've never like hit a curb or anything in this S2000. Uh, I avoid really big potholes. Uh, there, you know, there was nothing that I could think of that I had hit that caused it. You almost Wait. hit one. Yeah, but there was nothing that ever really happened that caused it to, to crack in that way that we know of or I could think of. Or they, I mean, there was really nothing. I was really surprised when I saw it. So I went ahead and pulled it off. I got just the stock wheels in the back for now, just so that way uh, I was able to drive it for the time being until I made up my mind on what wheels I was going to run. These are not Workmeister S13Ps. I really wish they were, or S1s. They are actually ESRs, SR06s. Uh, I really like the style of the Workmeister uh, S1 wheels, especially the three-piece S1 wheels. Uh, and I really wanted to go with that, but I, I just didn't have the three grand right now just to shell out for that. It's, it's really a lot of money. And I was kind of doing a lot of research on some companies, and ESR seems to be a really decent company coming up. They're actually making their own forge line of wheels. Uh, and so I decided to go ahead and give these a try. I figured these would be a really nice wheel uh, that would look good on the S2000. I'm also bumping it up in size a little bit. I went up to an 18 inch instead of a 17 inch. Uh, I'm still running 245s all the way around. The offset is going to be a little bit aggressive with these wheels because the lowest offset I could get was a plus 35, or the highest offset I should say. Um, I think right now I'm running plus 45s or plus 40s. Uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head. So these might poke out a little bit more, so I might have to run a little bit more camber until I get my wider fenders. We'll just wait till those come in. Anyways, let's go ahead and get these wheels on there. I want to see how they look. I'm excited. I do plan on possibly powder coating or painting these red. I really would like to do these a nice candy apple red. Uh, and so I'm really, really considering doing it. Uh, we'll see if I do though. I'm going to make up my mind once these are on the car and decide whether or not I like the black or if I want to go with red still, which I'll probably still go with red. So anyways, time to mount rubber. Hey, will you uh, put a piece of a uh, blue? the S2000 real quick, camera person. What do you think I pay you for this camera and shit? No. I pay you to do what are you? No really, can you like put something behind the wheel real quick? Like just like a piece of wood or something? So it doesn't roll back and die? Oh. Properly open a package. 
These are hub-centric rings. I've never used them before. I hope I got the right size. We're gonna find out, I guess. Where do they go? They go on the wheel. They go in between your wheel and your hub, and it's to help center the wheel so that way you don't get like any weird vibrations if it's like barely off-centered with your hub, because like the, the hub, the hub board that's on the wheel right here, where your actual wheel hub attaches to, uh, usually on aftermarket wheels, it might be bigger than what's on your stock car because they make them to be, you know, a universal size. So you get these hub-centric rings, you find out what the, the bore size is for the hubs on your car, you slip those on there, then you slip the wheel on there, and it should have the wheel nice and centered, and it helps alleviate the load also off of your lugs and kind of, I think, I don't know, we're going to find out. I think this might only work for one side, or the, either the front or the back, because there wasn't a lot of clear information on what the exact sizes were for the S2000. And it seemed like there was two different numbers, one for the front, one for the back. And I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna find out. We're gonna see. This is why I am not a certified mechanic. I just do things. Yeet. Yeet. Now, we're gonna put le wheel on le car. Oh, first things first, take off old wheels. Now, if you guys don't have one of these bad boys, I feel bad for you, son, because I got 99 problems, but my wheel gun ain't one. So, this helps just get wheels on and off really, really fast. Once I put wheels on, I still like to uh, torque them and make sure the torque specs are correct, but. It works most of the time. Oh, that just hit the S2000. It's not gonna be the only thing hitting the S2000. Ha! I'm getting a phone call. Those. That wasn't excited enough, Sarah. Uh-huh. Are you filming this? Mm -hmm. Oh god, don't film the trigger part. Cut that out. <laughs> This is the work. Okay, so these might work for the rear. It does not look like they're gonna work for the front. The front looks like it's already the right size bore anyways. Also make sure when you're doing this that you keep track of where your lugs go so when you kick them around you just know where to find them. Another reason I decided to go with 18s is partially because they clear big brake kits really well. Just, just a hint. Just, just a hint. You didn't, you didn't get where I hint. It's a hint. Alright. Now that we have all four wheels on, I do want to say ahead of time. I do already have my fenders rolled, and in the back I have the uh, mounting bracket already shaven and moved. So, for any of you that have not done that, you definitely need to do that when fitting big wheels and tires like this. For any of you that are questioning if I've done that, yes, I've done that. Also the front. Front pokes out quite a bit. The rear actually does not look too terribly bad. It's a fairly flush look. Front pokes out a decent amount, and that's okay, because I plan on going with Jay's racing fenders. And I really like the way they look, and this is my excuse. As soon as we're done with this, I'm literally possibly, probably gonna go buy them right now. Because I need them. Toss you with front bumper, and it'll look really good. Anyways, now that we got all wheels and tires on, this advertisement needs to stop. Advertisements. Alright. Let's turn that off. Okay. Advertisement is done. So, now that we got all wheels done, time for a montage. Yeah. Alright guys, so now that we got the awesome wheels on the S2000, it looks fan freaking tastic. We're gonna go run to the hardware store and we're gonna show you what we're gonna do for Halloween.
Peaches love cake. All right, so we're back. We drove the S2000 to the hardware store and other places, and I picked up the plastic dip. Normally I'm not a plastic dip person, but I really like this idea. What I'm trying to do is I'm actually gonna put fake blood on the front of the S2000. I really like the idea of doing like shark teeth up front in the grill. I think the mouth of the S2000 looks really good for that. And then kind of doing fake blood around it. I just think it's a really cool theme. Uh, I always thought it was really cool. I saw it years ago on another S2000. Decided I want to do it for myself. Uh, so today I got some red, red plastic dip and I'm putting a little bit of black in there just to darken it up, make it look a little bit more realistic. And we're just gonna throw it all over the front of the S2000 and see how she comes out. Uh, we already got some teeth that we made some templates with. We're going to cut those out after we get this on there, and then we'll get the teeth on there. We'll see how she looks. Now that we got it, I just had some mason jars sitting around. I got plenty of spare ones for stuff like this. And then we kind of got it mixed. It's got a really kind of dark red color. kind of looks like blood. We're going to literally you know, turn around. Oh, yeah all over it. Oh, poor S2000. Good thing we're painting it. Gonna... I'm afraid we might have to go buy some more. Was that it? No. Oh. There's a little bit more. But <laughs> I feel like you might run out. But you can slap it on, like. Right? Yeah. 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 Someone's 50! <laughs> hey, what are you up to? Oh, mm -hmm. working on the S2000. Oh, um, Do what? I was at your house. Yeah, I'm at my house. Hold on, let's see this. Can you, can you hear me now? Are you there? Yeah. Can you wheels on it? Yeah, wheels are on it, dude. She looks really, really yeah. good. Yep, some, some nice yep, I'm about to. I'm about to go take some really good ones. I'm also doing a couple other things to my S2000. Really? Yeah. I'm going to keep okay. it a secret for you until you see the oh. pictures when I'm done. Well, you need to be. All right. After talking to Sean, I got another batch mixed up and splash it on there. I went ahead and kind of covered the center section. I don't necessarily want this stuff getting all over my radiator and AC condenser and stuff. So I decided to go ahead and like loosely cover that. So I just stuff some towels in there so I can splash it on in there. Like this. Oh, that was a little bit more than I wanted. Whoops. Oh well. You think it's peelable, right? I'll try this again. Oh, that's, that's it's okay. I suck at this. Yeah, it even got like on the back window and everything too. Beautiful. It's okay. Oh no. I do almost need to figure out a better splattering system. Because I wasted that whole strand right there. Mm-hmm. Got the perfect mixture. <coughs> Some dark and mixturized. Oh my goodness. I suck at this. Please. And then you mix more, and you do it again. Yeah, this color is gonna look a little bit better because this one's not a matte. Last uh, can I had was a matte red. This mm -hmm. is more of a gloss red. And so it's actually giving a little bit more of a realistic blood look to it. Ha! That's what I'm talking about. 
S2000 just got done feeding on its meal. Kind of got to make it go up a little bit. Oh, since I spread it around, it looks even better now. Mm -hmm. Just gotta do that here too. I'm really digging this look. Looks very menacing. I'm over here. Really mean. Just gonna... Yeah. I think that looks best like that. Yes. God, that looks so good. All right, I'm gonna do one more mixture. Oh. The masterful serum. Are you gonna use tape too? Get that middle area too. Oh, yeah. Masterpiece. Part of the masterpiece. Probably six for the bottom, six for the top. Yeah. Okay, let's go. No. So real quick, the fuck there is three things that are now different with the S2000. I want you to come tell me what they are. They're not very tiny things either. They're three pretty big things. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. Um, I'm get, okay, new top, soft top. Okay, yeah, not new top, but yes, hard top. Okay, gone. that's the fourth one. All right, it's like selling it. Like a grand yeah. Or something. yeah. Okay. Uh, it's sold. Uh, I'm gonna get a different style one. I know you can see that. So that's that's one. It's one of three. It's a good, good start. Damn, that's two. All right. Last one's gonna be the easiest. Last one's gonna be the easiest. Yeah. Um. Obviously, the windshield wipers are up. Yeah. Yeah. New windshield wipers. Yeah. Like, what the right. is this? <laughs> it smells like. <laughs> What 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 are we? It's the shark. Oh shark no way! Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that badass? <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. I know what this look looks who it like. Is. I know what this looks like. I'm not out. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You remember how I said I was doing something to the S2000? It was a secret. Yeah. Come here. Let's go check it out. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. All right, walk, just don't forget about the step. All right. Keep them closed, you're clear. Just follow my voice. I'm not a queer. <laughs> that's, that's true. Only on Sundays. Only on Sundays. All right. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you got this. Uh, I'm looking at my feet. All right, yeah, just keep looking at your feet. Man, what happened over here? <laughs> I thought the Mustang was bad about hitting crowds. Look at this thing. Wow, I, I, I love the new wheel setup, Dude, man. The wheels look really good. I what definitely you, do need the front fenders, but it's not 100% you, complete yet. What did you do to the front? Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't even see the teeth yet. Shark mouth. <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, I, I should have brought mine over now. Wait, what is on the car? I knew, I knew you were going to say that. I called it. Dude, this is awesome. So it's just plastic dip. It's just plastic dip? Yeah. So I mixed, I got a red can. And I get like a mason jar, just sprayed it all in a mason jar, and then I put like a little bit of black in there to kind of oh. darken it up and make it more like blood. Smothered it around, make sure to put a handprint in there, you know. I was just looking at the teeth! Let go! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand years later. Hey guys, we just got done with the S2000. Joey actually also did the exact same thing to her 350Z. So now you can officially say we are a part of Shark Squad. 
I'm naming this the Shark 2000 and the Shark Z. It's gonna be awesome. I love the way they turned out. We're gonna try and talk Sean into doing the same thing with his S2000. I really love the way they look. Almost wanna keep it like this year round, not necessarily just for Halloween. But overall, we got the new wheels on the S2000. We got the awesome Halloween color teeth, everything going on for Halloween. I love the way it looks. Uh, very happy with how it turned out. Love the new wheels. Uh, it is rubbing just a slight bit in the rear. I'm gonna have to kind of pull the fender or put over fenders on there. Probably gonna go ahead and do over fenders because I do wanna run wider tires in the future. I do wanna run 265s later on. So we're probably gonna go ahead, get more parts for the S2000 ordered, but I'm really happy with how she turned out. Next, we're gonna be doing some prep work for BMT on Susan. She needs some regular stuff like brake fluid, brake pads, stuff like that. We're gonna be taking care of that in the next video. And maybe, just maybe, we can talk into Sean to doing the same thing with his Voltex S2000. So thanks again for staying tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I wanted to make it a little bit more raw and I hope you guys don't mind that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what else you wanna see in the future. Might also be doing the same thing to the RX-7. We're gonna start hashtag shark squad. All our cars are gonna be sharks. It's gonna be awesome. Anyway, see you guys next episode. Bitches love cake.